Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. And uh, this is gonna be against Eden. And as you can see, I am using the same team that I've been using the past several matches. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what they're using. All right, so that looks to be a uh, pretty cool team, pretty strong, pretty interesting. So. Um, what do I want to lead with here? I think we're going to go with the wheezing this time around, since that seems pretty okay. I will see how that works out. So, there he is, and uh, it looks like he's going to lead with the Weevil, which is uh, kind of what I was hoping for, since I uh, did lead with the Galarian Weezing, the smoke, of course, pressure is going to come into play. So, um, I am max physical defense, so I should be able to take uh, the hits from this thing. Just going to stay in and um, go for that strange steam, um, make the obvious play first, as he is going to fake out as predicted. So. Going to get that chip and the flinch, um, so nothing I can do, but I do regain some health from the black sludge. So, um, might as well just uh, make the same play, stay in, go for that strange steam. Um, he may or may not stay in, and he is actually going to stay in and ice punch me. So uh, that does a decent amount, and he actually freezes me, so that really sucks. But no, I actually thaw out right away uh, and do hit him with that strange steam and that is just going to go ahead and knock him all the way down to a focus sash um, but he does hang on because of it and then I do regain some HP with the black sludge again so that was uh, definitely a little bit of a scare there with the freeze but then um, the instant unthaw was nice so um, I think I am just going to uh, sludge bomb here in case he decides to try and switch since uh, no, he is just going to stay in, so going to Ice Punch me again, um, and that will knock me down to about a third, but I do survive, and uh, a Sludge Bomb will definitely take this thing down from that range, dropping him down to five Pokemon. So, um, my Weezing is a little worse for wear after that uh, exchange, but um, I still did get the upper hand on him, though. Um, so, um, now he is going to come in with the Espeon, so... Um, I don't know if it's really worth trying to save this thing, um, since it will probably be outsped by most of his remaining team. Um, so I think I'm just going to stay in here since I'm not at that high of health. So, um, he is going to outspeed me and just go for the Psychic. Unfortunately, that will be enough to take me down from that range. Um, so that is going to um, knock me down to five Pokemon as he does take some Life Orb Recoil damage there. So, um, what do I want to come in with in return? I think, not sure actually. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Oh, well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and come in with the uh, Inteleon, good old Lord Frieza. Um, it is going to be close, um, who outspeeds who here if he decides to stay in, but, um, just going to go for that Dark Pulse. And um, hopefully I will outspeed him. But no, he does outspeed me, and he actually goes for a yawn. So um, that's interesting. But um, I am going to fall asleep next turn if I don't switch. But I'm going to hit him with a Dark Pulse, and that will knock him into the red. Uh, but he does survive, unfortunately. So now I kind of have a choice to make. Um, I know he outspeeds me. So um, I could... Um, stay in and try to take him out, but if he does switch, um, then I'm going to go to sleep for nothing, so that wouldn't be good. Um, but if I do switch, um, what do I have that I can really switch in here? Not a lot. 
Um, so, but I think I don't want to fall asleep, so I'm going to have to try to switch here. So I'm going to switch into the um, Lancelot, the S Cavalier, because um, I really don't want to go to sleep uh, with the Inteleon. That would be real bad. So um, there it is, and he is going to stay in in Morning Sun, actually predicting my switch. So that's not great. Um, so he is going to heal up from that to about two thirds. Um, so I think I'm just going to knock off here. Um, I think it should take him out from that range um, if he stays in. If not, um, no, he's going to switch. So um, he's going to come in with the Gudra, actually. So that's kind of good um, since I will get the knockoff on this thing. So that's going to take him down by a little less than half and get rid of his leftovers. So that is very productive, actually. Um, but I don't think I can stay on in on this thing because I know it gets uh, obviously a lot of fire moves. So, um, not sure what I actually want to switch because I don't really have. I think the best possible switch I have is the Galade. So, um, I have max special defense with an assault vest. So, that is what I'm going to do and um, see what he does. So, there is Seto Kaiba, the Galade, and he is going to fire blast. All right, so uh, not going to do too much to me there. Um, so that actually worked out pretty well. Um, fortunately, I didn't get burned. So uh, what do I want to do here? He's probably not going to want to stay in um, seeing that damage. So I think I'm just going to uh, Psycho Cut here um, to play it safe. As he actually does stay in, that's a little bit of a surprise. So the Psycho Cut... Not going to be enough to take him out, dropping him to uh, about a quarter HP. He's going to Dragon Pulse me in return, um, which will take me down uh, not even quite to half. So, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Psycho Cut from that range. Um, it should definitely take him out if he stays in. So, um, he does stay in. Going to nail him with that Psycho Cut again, and that will be enough this time around to take out the Gudra and drop him down to... Uh, four Pokemons, so that is good. So um, then he is going to come in with the Sylveon. And um, yeah, I don't want to stay in on this, that's for sure. So uh, what do I want to go into? Hmm. Um, I think it's going to have to be the S Cavalier, so going to do that. Definitely don't want to take that fairy attack. So uh, here comes Lancelot, the S Cavalier, as uh, he actually is going to go for the Calm Mind, so that's not great. Um, so that is going to give him that um, special attack and special defense increase, so not good. Um... I think I am just going to go for the Iron Head here. And um, he is packing the Mystical Fire, though. I was a little afraid of that. Um, that sucks, so he's just going to actually one-shot me with that. So um, that's definitely real bad news. Um, that's just going to knock me down to four Pokemon outright. Kind of a risk I felt like I had to take, though. Um, but now, not really in a good position with this thing. Um... So, yeah, I don't really have anything too good for this thing, unfortunately. I think the best I have um, is going into my um, Cinderace, the soccer skin. And um, I think I am just going to... I really don't want to miss a Pyro Ball, actually, um, but... I think I am just going to uh, Pyro Ball here. It's really the best thing I can do. And hopefully I don't miss. And uh, no, he is going to switch out, though. He doesn't want to risk it or take any damage. So I'm going to come in with the Espeon. And um, I'm going to go for the Pyro Ball. Fortunately, I don't miss. going to nail this thing with that. And uh, that will take the Espeon out uh, from that range. So that is awesome. That is going to knock him down to three Pokemon now. And um, I'm going to take that uh, Life Orb Recoil damage. So um, here he is going to come in with the Jellicent. So um, that's fine. 
Um, I think I, I'm just going to U-turn, actually, because um, I don't think a Sucker Punch would one-shot this. Um, so since it's pretty bulky, so um, just getting a U-turn for that chip damage. So uh, not going to do a ton, but a little bit. I do take more Life Orb recoil damage and uh, do get the mandatory switch. And off of that, I believe I will be coming in with the Drampa, I think, um, since I do have a resistance or an immunity to uh, both of this thing's stab moves. So... Um, there it is, and uh, he is going to go for a Strength Sap, which is actually not going to affect me thanks to my Sap Zipper ability. Um, going to raise my physical attack doesn't matter since I am special. Um, but I think at this point I am just going to go ahead and go for a... Uh, he's probably not going to want to stay in on this, but... Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think he's going to want to stay in. So now I kind of have a choice to make. Um, because if I do go for the um, the Hyper Voice, that would be very risky. Um, but if I go for the Draco, that would also be... So yeah, there's a lot of risk right now um, in what I do. I think, um, I think I'm just going to play it safe and go for the Thunderbolt, since that'll hit everything, at least with neutral damage. And uh, he does stay in, actually, and nail me with an Ice Beam, so that will knock me down by a little less than half. Um, so good thing I did play it safe. Going to go for the Choice Spec Thunderbolt, and that is not actually going to be enough uh, to take this thing out even. This thing is very bulky, and he is going to go ahead and get a uh, Citrus Berry there to regain some HP. So um, he did survive there, so that's not great. Um, but I should be able to take another Ice Beam if that's what he wants to do. But no, he actually wants the Switch. So I'm um, going to come in with that Sylveon. And um, I'm going to hit this thing now with the Choice Specs Thunderbolt. And uh, that is going to take it down by about a third, so that's not too bad. Um, but I don't really want to risk a switch right now, so i um, just going to go for it again. He might try to set up, he might try to take me out. But no, he is going to go for the Draining Kiss, actually. And um, that is actually just going to take me out from that range. With a critical hit, though, that kind of sucks. Um, critical hit sucks, and uh, that's going to put him back up to basically full HP, so that sucks. Um, so that is going to drop me down to three Pokemon. Um, I think I just have to kind of um, do the same thing I was going to do last time, which is go ahead and come in with the Cinderace. And... Um, hmm... I think uh, just go for the Pyro Ball once again, and uh, hopefully once again I don't miss, although he might go for the Switch, and indeed he is going to switch, um, and he is going to switch back in the Jellicent once again, um, as I do go for the Pyro Ball. Thankfully I don't miss um, once again, and uh, that is going to be enough from that range to take this thing out, and uh, that will drop him down to two Pokemon, as I am going to take the um, damage there from the Life Orb once again. So uh, then he is going to come in with his Cinderace. So, all right. Um, so, it's Cinderace versus Cinderace. Um, don't know if I really want to stay in on that or not. Yeah, I don't know if I want to stay in on that. Kind of don't want to because um, I kind of need my Cinderace for his... Sylveon, so if I lose um, Cinderace, that would be really bad, so I think um, I'm going to have to switch out to um, my Gallade here, essentially as fodder, um, so that is what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to switch in with that, and um, he is going to go for the Dynamax here, okay, well that sucks, um, so he's going to go ahead and Dynamax on the Cinderace. So there is the Dynamaxed Cinderace. And um, he is going to go ahead and use a Max Airstream. Okay, well that's not good at all. And then um, he's going to have the uh, ability to change him to a flying type there, so that's even worse. And um, he's going to go ahead and take me out with that. So that's really bad. And then he's going to get the uh, speed increase off that, which is even worse as well. So, so yeah, this is that's not good at all. So 
Um, that's going to drop me down to two Pokemon. Um, and yeah, that's that's really bad. So, ah, uh, jeez. Okay, so now I really have a choice to make. So. Yeah, this is bad. Um, I think all I can really do is come in with the um, Inteleon right now, so that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I think I do want to save my Dynamax, so um, because he has that ability, the hidden ability, the uh, Liberto, um, he is going to change into whatever move he goes for, so um, who knows exactly what that's going to be. But I think since he is presently a flying type, I just have to go for the Ice Beam here. Hopefully he goes for it again, and uh, he does go for the Max Airstream again, so um, that's good because at least I'll nail him with something that is um, super effective. So I am going to survive that hit because of my Focus Sash, and he's going to get another speed increase. Um, as I am going to Ice Beam him, which will knock him down to about uh, a third HP, so that's good. And um, this is going to as well be his last turn Dynamaxed, so um, he is going to take me out for sure here. But uh, yeah, he's going to go for the Max Knuckle uh, to change to a Fighting type, um, so that is not good, obviously. Um, so that, because that is also going to give him a... Uh, attack increase as well so um, yeah Dynamax really just uh, putting in a lot of work here so that's gonna take my Inteleon out and drop me down to just one Pokemon so it is kind of um, all up to Cinderace here uh, mine that is um, so of course I am going to go uh, as that is his last turn for his Dynamax which is great um, that is really the best uh, chance I have, so I'm going to go for my Dynamax as well. I should be able to take definitely an attack from this thing. Um, and I think um, just going to go for the Max Knuckle to get that attack increase, hopefully. So um, he is still going to outspeed me um, from those speed boosts, so um, we'll see what his best attack he has for me is. So here we go with my Dynamaxed, Cinderace, and hopefully it can put in work. So he's going to bounce, um, so that's interesting to change to a flying type. Um, he's going to spring up, and um, I think that's going to, um, yeah, it's going to allow him to avoid my Max Knuckle, so that really sucks. Um, so I think at this point, um, I do just have to go for the, um, Max Flare. I am going to have to take the bounce here, so, um, uh, no, actually, he misses the bounce, so that's actually, uh, really good for me. So I'm going to hit him with the Max Flare, um, that is going to take him out from that range, um, and that is going to set the intense sunlight on the battlefield as well, which is great, because that's going to power up my fire moves, so that will get rid of his Cinderace as I do take the Life Orb Recoil damage that will drop him down to just one Pokemon as well. So um, that is going to be the Sylveon. So definitely coming down to the wire here, gonna go uh, for the Max Flare once again. Um, it is Sun Boosted, it is uh, Max Attack with a Life Orb behind it, and it is enough to one-shot kill the Sylveon, thankfully. And after I take the Life Orb recoil damage, that is going to be game. So, um, unfortunately though, it looks like uh, he decided to disconnect. So, um, there's uh, some good sportsmanship for you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but you know what? Um, the game was technically over. Um, I did just beat him, so um, that's going to be cut in print and... Um, yeah, that's a wrap. So we're going to get the victory there. 1-0 uh, over a Rage Quitter there. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, that does happen sometimes. So uh, thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Also, this is going to be the last battle that I post with this team. I did have a lot of fun with it, and it... Uh, did work out pretty well, but 
Um, I am going to be putting it to the side and um, actually next time I'm going to be uh, going back to uh, doing a few either uh, VGC or multi battles. I'm uh, going to take a little break from uh, new singles teams once again um, and actually uh, with the uh, brand new uh, expansion pass which just came out recently. Um, there is, are going to be a ton more Pokemon uh, to play with, so um, that will definitely shake things up in the world of Pokemon. I'm uh, interested to uh, get a whole bunch of old Pokemon back and a couple of new ones too, so um, we'll see uh, what the future holds there, but definitely going to try to do some interesting things with all of that. So uh, that's it, and we'll see you next time.